What's up, guys? What's up, yeah, Joe? Coffee chat. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for a bit today. Today's topic for Tuesday talk video. But you guys getting to know me a bit better, I guess somehow like the humor that you see in Paul's videos becomes more funny, right? Or it's more understandable now because you can see more about the editor, right? Part of the reason why I want to make this video is because of what happened with uh, one of Paul's tech news, right? Like uh, towards the end of this video, his camera stopped recording, like the power got disconnected and it corrupted the file. So I basically had to like use uh, still animations to finish the video, right? All I could do was say fuck it, I, you know, I had like no footage to work with so all I have to do was recycle his previous footage and I made it into like a slideshow uh, with him doing his facial expressions as he was talking, right? And also like, uh, I did the other step where I was like, I, I appeared in the video, you know, visually and like I <laughs> made a little note be like, hey, Paul fucked up, his camera ate shit so I have to like, you know, finish the video in this manner and, and then like, somewhere after, in the middle of that, like, I, Paul made a, like an uh, announcement about his how to build a PC computer so of course I gave them shit about like he should make a video on how to keep the camera working, right? So for the most part people actually got that and it was funny like people actually understood what was going on like uh, It's not the first time where I appear through Paul's videos in the sense of me giving him shit or just joking around and stuff like that But like um getting to that point where like I felt uh, Comfortable enough to appear in his videos and not only that uh, like um, being known as who Paul's editor is, um, which is kind of unique and I think is really cool about YouTube, right? Now, if you watch, you know, let's just say, you know, a Marvel movie, right? You know, fucking The Avengers, you know, Thor, you know, fucking Ant-Man, you know, whatever. You watch those movies, you're familiar with the actors and all that shit. And for the most part, I think for most people, that's about it. Unless they're really into the movie, then they know who possibly the, who the most likely the director is. Maybe they know who the composer of the music is, this and that, but usually for the general people that watch the movies, they don't know much besides that, you know? It's like, they don't know who the VFX artist team was, they don't know who, I don't know, like the storyboard artist was, they don't know who wrote the script and all that shit like that. It's nothing like that is very known. However, the cool thing about YouTube, I, I feel honestly, is that like uh, when you start watching a YouTube channel, it's almost like you start to realize, okay, who's the, who's the camera guy? Who's the VFX um, team? Who's the editor? Like, something about YouTube, all that becomes more known, right? It's like, you know, there's a team of people, you start to see who are the ones that makes the videos. And I think that's something that's really kind of cool and unique about YouTube. Now, when I started working with Paul, I actually avoided to be in front of the camera because I felt like, I don't know, I was just invading his territory or some shit like that. Um, I don't know. It wasn't until I was I actually watched uh, some PewDiePie videos where he, he had an editor, his name was Brad, you know, before he, you know, left PewDiePie to do his own thing. The thing, like, I started watching his videos and, like, uh, the thing I noticed that stuck out with me the most was, like, how much shit that his editor was giving him in between his videos, right? He'll make a mistake or something like that, so the editor will leave that in or he point that out. Like, uh, PewDiePie will ask him to do something, he'll do the opposite just to fuck with him. You know, shit like that, and I just thought it was fucking hilarious, so... <laughs> I don't know, just, like, uh, working with Paul after a while, like, I guess I got comfortable enough to, like, start fucking with them a little bit here and there because like the thing about working with YouTube videos I mean like a tech news is a good example of this is that you don't have much time to redo stuff you know um, yeah the footage got corrupted but Paul didn't have the time to film it again so he just gave me what he got and I had to work with it so I improvised and I did what I did a lot of improvisation happens on the spot you know and a lot of that has to do with fuck okay well <laughs> you know I pointed it out Paul's camera fucked up so I had to do this and people liked it you know <laughs> I gave Paul shit for his camera not working and people got the joke and they like that, right? It's just like there's like this form of improvisation that happens or has to happen to get the job done and then like, I don't know, in a way people appreciate that and it's funny, right? So anyways, I mean like uh, to end the video, um, it's something I had to learn big time when I started working for a content creator on YouTube and started to make my own shit also is that, um, I mean depending on what you want to do, right? But I mean... For the most part, like, uh, when I started editing, my goal was to hide the edits as much as possible, make everything perfect, this and that, make everything seamless and yada yada, make the color correction perfect, but the thing is to do something like in that high quality, it takes a lot of time, a lot of prep work also, you know, a lot of like, uh, redoing, any mistakes that happens when you film in, you redo it and stuff like that, but the thing is that like, you get to a point in the rhythm where it's like, you don't have time to do a lot of that shit, and you can, don't get me wrong, but like the thing is if you want to keep a consistent schedule, say like I am at the moment, I'm trying to like uh, upload almost daily consistently, right? So there's a certain style of filming that I have to keep up with, right? That I'm able to keep up with on my own because most of my time is spent on working on pause videos, right? So you keep shit simple and straight to the point as much as I can. So I mean, I don't know, I guess uh, to end the video, I mean like, 
me being part of Paul's videos in the sense of me like um, adding the edits where I appear and I give him shit about him fucking up or something like that. I mean, yeah, it's funny. It's fun, right? But a lot of it had to do with, well, shit, and you'll see what happened in tech news. I had to fix something, and I had to, like, let the audience know what was going on. Yeah, for the most part, like, when I do appear in his videos, it's not, like, I force it. It's just, like, I just, I have to, <laughs> in a way, or just, like, you know, I don't know. I just have to, like, or I point out and pause floss just to fuck with him, you know, just to have fun or whatever. But, like, I mean, that's all it comes down to, just having fun, right? And, like, I think, like, for the most part, like, oh, the audience get that. And they enjoy it, right? So, yeah, editing for YouTube videos, it is a different skill. Um, it, it is a different approach towards things. It's not like uh, editing a movie, that's for sure. A lot I could get forgiven, and mistakes can be opportunities to, like, um, do something funny. And, like, yeah, the tech news was a good example of that. that the ending of, like, Paul's, like, video came out funner than I expected, to be honest, you know? It's, it was hilarious. So, anyways, uh, that, that's all I have to say. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. Really appreciate it. Take care and peace.